To kick off the Rugby 2012 Summer Series and promote an exciting season of rugby, members of Canada's senior men's team, media personalities and MPs light up Parliament for the Game on the Hill. The game played in a Touch 7s format and the teams were coached by two former Team Canada legends, Al Sharon and Stu Alt, who are the most capped Sevens internationals from Ottawa. National Men's Program Manager Gareth Rees will referee the match that will be the first time Canada's senior men will be together since the World Cup in New Zealand last October. We saw a great display of rugby on the hill. Um, I was just saying to Al Sharon, from when we started playing the game, to think that rugby uh, would be mainstream like this. We'd have Minister for Sport playing, we'd have Mr. Trudeau playing, uh, we have a bunch of media guys. It was, uh, it was fantastic for me to be in this situation and, and to celebrate rugby. Some of the nine MPs participating in the match have valuable rugby experience. Quebec MP and knockout artist Justin Trudeau took to the pitch after recently defeating political rival Senator Patrick Brazo in a charity boxing match last March. Is it your first time playing rugby? Uh, it's not, but it's close to my first time. I played a lot more football uh, when I was uh, when I was in high school, so uh, it's an adjustment. Uh, if you had to choose a scrum here or a scrum in the House of Commons, what do you pick? Oh, definitely a scrum here. I'm a much more physical guy. Awesome. If you had to pick one uh, politician to be on your dream team in rugby, who would that be? Uh, I'd like to play with my dad. What are we seeing here today? Uh, you're seeing a lot of out of shape uh, parliamentarians like myself try to keep up with a very good national team. <laughs> did you uh, ever play rugby before? I did. I played for about a year in high school when our, t uh, our school got a team for the first time. Uh, so I had a little bit of experience playing it. I love watching it during uh, international competitions. And so what do you think about the new fitted uniforms? Well, I wish I had ordered the double XL because this is a little snug. But uh, they, they looks very sleek. It's uh, They're very nice uniforms and uh, I like them. I'm glad I get to keep this one. First time playing. First time ever playing rugby. And what are your impressions? It's great. I watched my first game last year live between Canada and South Africa. Our ladies played a good game there, so learned a bit of rules about it. The group of media who will be stepping out of the newsroom and press gallery includes some big names. CBC's Evan Solomon, CTV's Kevin Newman, and Joel Denis Bellivance of La Presse will set broadcasting aside for the game. Well, this is great. We're participating in the Sevens Rugby, that demonstration right on the lawn of Parliament Hill, which is great for us because usually now we'd be working. But we've got some MPs and some journalists and some colleagues and Tim Powers, of course, who you know, and Robin McLaughlin, who are on my show every week. I've got me back into rugby since my first rugby game since I played on my high school team back in grade 12. It's my very first time playing rugby and it's a little disorienting. Uh, there's way more running than I counted on. I thought I could like, do the crashing stuff but uh, they, they, these guys are really agile. If you had to pick one politician to be on your team, uh, dream team rugby, who would that be? A politician to be in my dream. So, is this a politician that you'd like that I would like to tackle, or like to play on the same team? Let's with? go with the tackle. I can't say who I like. It's a long list. Peter McKay's a pretty good uh, rugby player. I'm watching for Bob Zimmerman, who's out here as well. Uh, yeah, for what all I know, what do I know about rugby? Except that I'm enjoying myself. With the sport growing in Canada, and with the international success of Canada's senior men's and women's teams. Fans have lots to cheer about in the nation's capital and on the world stage.